Last weekend was the last time I played something. Well, I guess technically on Wednesday well, I, was I did it? the stream. I played uh, PT, the uh, playable teaser that everyone knows by now. Kojima oh. and Golmero del Toro and... What's the name again? Gal Galmero del Toro. It's Spanish for William. One more time. Galmero. How do you say it? That's it. Guillermo. Yeah, you got it. Guillermo? Guillermo. It's not Guillermo. Guillermo. Yeah, yeah, hey, Guillermo. it's not Guillermo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Guillermo. <laughs> hey, in all honesty, fuck you. I don't think fuck I've ever, you, Barat Samus. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it pronounced out loud. Oh, so, really? Really? You no, because I know Guillermo is a word. Like, I know yeah, people yeah, yeah. named Guillermo at work. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I've never That's seen. What I, I've only heard it out loud with the guys I know at work, but I always saw that written out on his films. I really like his films. It's tricky. Yeah, that was above and beyond my capabilities. Well, Gamera del Toro uh, and well, Hideo Kojima And uh, Norman Reedus. Is that good? I love Gamora yeah. del Toro. I, well, here's the thing. I only had time to kind of start it. I haven't finished it yet. And... So what I didn't even know, and I had to be brought back up to speed... I told the other guys the other day, hey, they announced a new... Si There's a new Silent Hill game yeah. that Kojima and Guillermo del Toro are working on right. together, and it's a big new thing for the franchise. Okay, cool. I didn't even know... I had to, like, get my news in reverse. Everyone's like, did you check out PT? PT? It's playable... What, a playable teaser? Yeah. And it's a horror game. Yeah, I know. It didn't... And what I didn't know was that the plan... And now this is really cool, retroactively thinking about it is that Kojima put up a playable teaser and it's full of scary shit and complicated puzzles and only upon completing those puzzles does it tell you at the end what it is. It's, oh my god, this whole time I've been playing a new Silent Hill. Holy shit. It's That's the surprise of it. For right. Silent Hill, yeah. The fucking video game news sites had that I on know. the front page when I woke up that day. When I woke up that day, it was, yeah, New Silent Hill, da 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 oh. So I had no clue that it was supposed to be, like, I was supposed to discover that. It was worse than that, man. I watched the press conference yeah. from Cologne, Germany. Did I say yeah. that right? Uh, I think so. But you did. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I was at work watching that, and then yeah. before I could get home to start downloading it, all the news and all of Twitter was saying... Oh, PT is Silent Hills. It's the new game by Hideo Kojima and Del Toro. Yeah. And the guy from Walking Dead's in it. Guillermo Del Toro, that is. It was uh, It was kind of... It was still awesome to play through. And I, yeah. I'm going to finish it, but, but it now really, it's like... Ruin it. I think, well, yeah. I think I really... I know the new sites want to have a scoop on they wanna, it. They want a story. Man, it would have been cool if those new sites were just like, Hey, guys. Big thing at the end of this teaser, click to find out what it is. I have a solution. As opposed to just... Yeah, we would have gotten on it that way. Anyway. I have a solution. Yeah. Kojima said in interviews he wanted this to maybe like take a week before people would figure this discover out. Discover that ending. You know, yeah. discover what's going on. I think if you want to do that in the future, you have it open-ended for a week or however long you want, and then you send a patch to update to give the ending to the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that could work, but it could yeah, certainly do something better than that, this. Yeah. yeah. Because if they pushed a patch to that game that actually updated it so you could access the yeah. true ending or whatever, and then that revealed, people hey, do it, yeah. yeah, then maybe through the new sites people would be like, what the fuck is this? And go play it again. Or Something I thought playing. was cool, and I don't know if Derek and Sean knew about this, but they didn't want anyone guessing it was a Kojima thing. But Kojima has, at this point, developed his own engine, Fox, yeah, Fox engine, engine, where things all look like, if you look at any of the teasers of the Phantom what Pain... What does the engine say? If you look at... <laughs> any of the teasers for the Phantom Pain, it all has that look to it. It all you could tell when you see the Fox. Yeah, engine. it looks amazing. And he, Kojima specifically didn't want anyone guessing that this uh, PT thing was a Kojima project. He purposely dumbed the graphics down yeah. uh -huh. so that no one would guess that. Like everyone's saying, like, Isn't oh, look, oh, this, this game looks pretty good, and he's like. And oh, there's like <laughs> clipping here, and there's this, and he intentionally did yeah. all that. The Fox engine is that powerful that he actually toned it down yeah. so people wouldn't know That's it was funny. on that level of a game. He wanted people to think, oh, it's some indie game or like some kind of whatever. You yeah, know, what was the name of the studio? One six Seven, eight, eight something. Yeah, it's four yeah. numbers something. Yeah, man, I really like how Kojima does that. I I With just the Phantom Pain smart. and everything. I really yeah. like, that was it's like a. 
No one is doing things that way. Exactly. It's really fun. It's, it, it seems like he's the only one in the industry that's doing this shit for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Or, Joaquin and, or, cre- or creativity as opposed to, uh, you know, there's a lot of AAA games that I like, but I'm not going to deny that a lot of them are made out of yeah. necessity for, we got to have a blockbuster this Christmas. Oh, we got to, you know what I mean? I feel like he's the only one that's like, creatively I want to do. Like, I love Nintendo. Don't get me wrong, but even then I still feel like sometimes they put out a Super Mario Brothers because there isn't one and they need to by Christmas. Well, they're you know, a weird, whatever. They're a weird and, company. And, and they're still fun. Don't get me wrong. That's great. But I, Kojima really is in it for the love of the game. You know, he's really, you know, that's, and I think it shows. Yeah. Stuff. But anyway, 